couple of years ago, uh, we heard about a baseball league in Long Island where they play old-fashioned baseball. And it's the way it was played. The way it was played back in the 1860s, old-time uniforms, old-time bats, the works, and they commit to it. This is my favorite thing I ever did. I went out there, I took a camera crew along, and here's what happened. Hi, I'm at Old Bethpage Village Restoration, where they play old-time baseball. 1864 rules, 1864 costumes. Some say a waste of time, others say an incredible waste of time. Let's check it out. This is Gary Monty. Gary, you are the umpire. Actually, referee in 1864. There's some terms that everyone uses here mm -hmm. which are appropriate to 1864. Do you mind if we review these right now? Sure. Um, first of all, a pitcher is called a hurler. Fans are cranks, rooters, birds, and bugs. That's correct. You have a pencil behind your ear. What's yes. that for? Well, I have to keep score. I have to keep score during the game. So this is an authentic 1860s pencil? Yes. What do you write the score on? I have uh, a number of things. Wait, what, can I see what's in here? Sure. No, you want to see that. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yeah, this is an authentic Nature Valley granola bar. What are your professions? What do you think you did in 1864? Probably a farmer. You were a farmer? Yeah. You? Same here. You were a farmer as well? Yes. I'm a farmer. You're a farmer? I'm a farmer. You're a farmer as well? Everyone's yes. going with this farmer thing. No one ever says I'm a kickboxer or anything. <laughs> if you think the people playing 1864 baseball are intense, check out the people watching it. You're the groupies. It's 1864, and you're out looking for some uh, some man action. Is that the idea? They would, the men would invite us to come watch them play. Okay. And uh, are there certain players that you have? Who, who do you have the crushes on? Who do you guys like? Come on. Who do you like? Um, the man that was playing shortstop next to me before I played it made a lot of great catches. So okay, pretty... you like him. What about you? Do you have a crush on anybody? No, sir. No, sir. Okay, very shy. It's 1864, and I'm being very forward which would make you shy, plus I have cameras which don't even exist yet. What does your father do here in the town in 1864? He's a farmer. Everyone's a farmer. That's all he's doing, farmer, farmer, farmer. Is anyone working in advertising or anything? What does your dad do in the town? He's a tailor. Oh, no, well, there you go, he's a tailor. He makes clothes for the farmer. And what about you? He's What's a farmer. Farmer? And your father? My father's past. <laughs> <laughs> That's a terrible reaction. <laughs> You're dead. Let me ask you this. It's 1864, and I come walking into the town. Good looking fellow, six foot four, shock of red hair. Don't tell me you ladies wouldn't be kind of interested, right? I might be. And you? Absolutely. And you? You are the tallest man I've seen in a while. And then finally, you. I'm married. You're married? What's, what's the guy, what's he do? He's fighting. He's fighting? Oh, he's fighting in the Civil War. For the North? Yeah, indeed. Well, I hope he returns home safely. But if he doesn't, if he gets killed, would you be interested then? Yes, sir. Okay, well, let's just hope that guy gets blowed up real soon. You don't matter. You come to see the game? Yes. Why aren't you off at war? I'm flat-footed. Yeah, that's Foolish. really made a difference when they needed to look. They were shooting people out of cannons in 1864. They didn't care if they were flat-footed. That's how they killed people, is they'd throw other people at them. You seem peevish right now. I hope I have not caused you vexation or any unpleasant cogitations. I wish to... Where does it say... Get it on. I don't see that. There. So waiting for your husband to come back from the Civil War. You know that guy ain't coming back. Yes. Uh, that guy's not coming back. I saw him, actually. He's, yeah. I was down, I was in the Civil War, and I was fighting, and I saw him. He was acting very cowardly. <laughs> he, he said, we're all going to get killed. Let's get out of here. And then he made out with a guy. This is all true stuff, so I wouldn't wait around for him. That guy's... Swings both ways. I'm sorry, that gentleman likes to ply his seed in the other melon patch. Oh, your best apple, Hurler. If that 
was any lower, I'd have to dig to Hades itself to find the apple. <laughs> Why not dig a trench? Then the ball would be as low as you seem to wish it to be. <laughs> that was no strike. <laughs> for you now. <laughs>